Welcome to Document Co-authoring in SharePoint 2010 Part 2, Co-author a Word 2010 Document. Using Word or PowerPoint 2010 with Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010, you can edit the same document with other authors in a smooth way that just works. At Contoso, two marketing specialists, Phyllis Harris and Peter Wyckoff, who work at different locations, need to co-author a sales proposal at the request of their manager, Kelly Kraut. Because the document is in a SharePoint library, it's easy to locate. You know this is the up-to-date copy of the file, and the file is secure. One important note, when you co-author a document, you don't check out the file, because checking out means you would want exclusive access to the file. Phyllis opens the document from the SharePoint document library. Note that the Word document opens just like always, but now more than one person can open the document at the same time. Phyllis adds a paragraph. In general, the smallest unit of change that each author can independently work on is a paragraph. Then Phyllis saves and refreshes her changes. Saving and refreshing a document reveals your changes to the other authors and displays other authors who have saved their changes. A little later on, Peter edits the same document in the SharePoint library. For each co-author, the document opens just like always and collaboration occurs automatically. Often you see a message in the status bar telling you who is co-authoring the document with you when you first open the document. Throughout your editing session, presence icons in the status bar and information in the backstage show you who your co-authors are. Also, labels and margin brackets help Peter see where Phyllis is editing. To make it easy to spot changes by other authors, Word shows a colored overlay on new content from other authors that came into the document when it was last saved. It's easy for Peter to see Phyllis's changes as Phyllis has saved and refreshed the document, but she is still working on that paragraph. Peter adds a bulleted list and edits text just like he always has in Word. Then Peter saves and refreshes the document. Now that Peter has saved and refreshed his changes, Phyllis refreshes her document and sees Peter's bulleted list. This is a key feature of co-authoring. By explicitly refreshing changes, you stay in total control of your document. You know where others are, but aren't disrupted by them. And you reveal your changes when you're ready to show them to others. Phyllis now adds another paragraph to the sales proposal. Peter refreshes his document and sees the additional changes made by Phyllis. Phyllis decides to change the headers of every section in the document by using the new font effects. She also uses the new navigation pane to quickly scroll through the document to find each section header. And then she refreshes her changes once again. Peter scrolls through the document, sees the changes that Phyllis has made to the headers, and likes what he sees. Peter is in a creative mood and decides to make the photo more professional looking by using another special effect, the reflected rounded rectangle with a beveled look. Once again, he refreshes his changes so Phyllis can see what he did. Phyllis sees Peter has been editing the photo, and refreshes to see his changes. Phyllis is enjoying the whole process, but she's curious about how much control she can have over co-authoring. She finds it's easy to limit the type of collaboration by using the restrict editing command. You can limit the following. Formatting, the type of editing, who can edit, and when you're done deciding how you want to restrict editing, you click the Start Enforcing Protection command. When all co-authors are finished, the SharePoint document library now contains the one version of the truth. When you finish co-authoring, it's no problem to find the most up-to-date version of the document because it's been in the document library all along. Phyllis and Peter are very happy with the co-authoring process and they let Kelly, their manager, know that the document is done. 